Christmas in the Philippines Filipino, Pasco sa Pilipinas, one of two predominantly Christian countries in Asia, the other one being East Timor, is one of the biggest holidays in the archipelago. The country celebrates the world's longest Christmas season, with Christmas carols heard as early as September and lasting variously until either Epiphany, the Feast of the Black Nazarene on 9 January, or the Feast of the Santo Niño on the third Sunday of January. The official observance by the Catholic Church in the Philippines is from the beginning of the Simbang Gabi on 16 December until the Feast of the Epiphany on the first Sunday of the year. Every year, Filipinos from around the world mark September 1 as the beginning of the countdown to Christmas. This countdown, which spans from September to December, otherwise known as the BER months, is one of the most important traditions that makes the world's earliest and longest time span of a Christmas season. The Christmas season gradually starts from September to December and ends in the third or fourth week of January. It is celebrated for almost half a year, four months and three to four weeks. Generally, holiday decorations are available as early as the National Heroes Day weekend in August. Activities The various ethnic groups in the Philippines each observe different Christmas traditions, and the following are generally common. Christmas parties in urban areas like Metro Manila, many offices organize Christmas parties. These are usually held during the second week of December, or right before schools and universities go on holiday. Common activities include Manito, Monita, Kris Kringle, musical or theatrical performances and parlor games. Food is provided either through potluck, or via a pool of contributions to buy food. Some have fireworks displays. Simbang Gabi, Misa de Gallo Simbang Gabi, Night Mass, Spanish, Misa de Gallo, Rooster's Mass, or Misa de Aguinaldo, Gift Mass, is a novena of dawn masses from December 16 to 24, Christmas Eve. The Simbang Gabi is practiced mainly by Catholic and Aglipayans, with some evangelical Christian and independent Protestant churches having adopted the practice of having pre-Christmas dawn services. Attending the Masses is meant to show devotion to God and heightened anticipation for Christ's birth, and folk belief holds that God grants the special wish of a devotee that hears all nine Masses. Morning observance of Simbang Gabi This holiday begins as early as 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, while in some parishes, anticipated masses begin the previous evening at 2000 Pacific Standard Time or as early as 1930 Pacific Standard Time in others. After hearing mass, Catholic families buy traditional Filipino holiday fare for breakfast outside the church and eat it either within the church precincts or at home. Vendors offer many native delicacies, including babinka, rice flour and egg-based cake, cooked using coal burners above and under, puto bumbong, a purple, sticky rice delicacy steamed in bamboo tubes, but are then sprinkled with brown sugar and shredded dried coconut meat. Drinks include coffee, salabat, ginger tea, and socolate, thick, Spanish-style hot chocolate. Some Aglipayan churches invite the congregation to partake of the paint it, literally, heater. A post-mass snack of mostly rice pastries served with coffee or cocoa at the house of the mass sponsor. The babinka and puto bumbong are also served to those attending the anticipated evening masses together with dinner. Christmas Eve For Filipinos, Christmas Eve. Bisperas ng Pasco. On December 24 is celebrated with the Midnight Mass, and the traditional Noche Buena feast. Family members dine together at around midnight on traditional Yuletide fare, which includes queso de bola, Filipino Spanish for ball of cheese, which is made of edam sealed in red paraffin wax, socolat, noodles and pasta, fruit salad, pandasol, relleno and ham and Christmas ham. Some families would also open presents at this time. Panunuluyan in different provinces and schools, the journey of Joseph and the pregnant Virgin Mary in search of lodging is reenacted. The pageant, traditionally called the Panunuluyan, Pananawagan, or Pananapadan, is modeled after the Spanish Las Posadas. 
The Panunuluyan is performed after dark, with the actors portraying Joseph and the Virgin Mary going to pre-designated houses. They perform a chant meant to rouse the owners of the house, also actors, to request for lodging. The owners then cruelly turn them away, sometimes also in song, saying that their house is already filled with other guests. Finally, Joseph and Mary make their way to the parish church where a replica of the stable has been set up. The birth of Jesus is celebrated at midnight with the Misa de Gallo. Christmas Day Christmas Day in the Philippines is primarily a family affair. The Misa de Gallo is celebrated on December 25 and is usually one of several masses that all family members, including non-churchgoers, are present. The Misa de Gallo is often celebrated between 10 p.m. and midnight, a schedule preferred by many Filipinos who stay up late on Christmas Eve for the night-long celebration of the Noche Buena. Preferably in the morning, Filipinos typically visit their extended family, especially to pay their respects to senior relatives. This custom of giving respect is enacted through the Pagmamano. A supplicant takes the back of an elder's hand and presses it against the forehead, while giving the greeting, mano, ho, lit. Thy, hand, please. The elder often responds by reciting a blessing or simply acknowledging the gesture, and in return gives. Aguinaldo. Or money in the form of crisp banknotes, often placed in a sealed envelope such as an ang pao. Godparents in particular are socially obligated to give presents or aguinaldo to their godchildren, to whom they often give larger amounts compared to other younger relatives. A festive lunch may follow the Pagmamano. The menu is heavily dependent upon the finances of the family, with richer families preparing grand feasts, while poorer families choose to cook simple yet special dishes. Some families choose to open presents on this day after the lunch. When nighttime falls, members of the family usually return home or linger to drink, play parlor games, and chat. Some may opt to have another feast for dinner, while a minority spend the entire day at home to rest after the previous day's festivities. Niños Innocentes Holy Innocents. Day or Childermas is commemorated on December 28 as Niños Innocentes. Filipinos once celebrated the day by playing practical jokes on one another, similar to April Fool's Day. One of the widely practiced pranks on this day is to borrow money without the intention of paying back. Creditors are usually helpless in getting remuneration from borrower, and are instead forewarned not to lend money on this day. Victims of such pranks were once called out. Non niños inocentes ka. New Year's Eve On December 31, Vispera's ng Bagong Tayan, Filipino families gather for the Media Noche a lavish midnight feast that supposedly symbolizes their hopes for prosperity in the coming year, and lasts until the following morning as with the Noche Buena taken on Christmas Eve. Filipinos make noise both to greet the new year and in the belief that the din exorcises their surroundings of malevolent spirits. In spite of the yearly ban, due to the national government restrictions, people in most towns and cities customarily light firecrackers, or employ safer methods of merrymaking such as banging on pots and pans and blowing car horns. Other traditions and beliefs include encouraging children to jump at the stroke of midnight to increase their height, displaying circular fruit such as oranges, wearing clothes with dots and other circular designs to symbolize coins and money, eating 12 grapes at midnight for good luck in the 12 months of the year, a Spanish custom, and opening all windows and doors to let in the blessings on the first day of the year. Three Kings Day Christmas officially ends on the Feast of the Epiphany, more commonly known as Three Kings Day, Spanish, Dia de los Tres Reyes, Tagalog, Ara ng Tatlong Hari. A dying tradition is the Hispanic custom of children leaving their shoes out by the window or the door, so that the three kings can leave small gifts like candy or money inside upon their descent on Twelfth Night. Feast of the Black Nazarene since 2011, the Catholic Church mandated that the Christmas season ends on the Feast of the Baptism of Jesus, kept on either the Monday after Epiphany or the second Sunday of the year. 
The miraculous Black Nazarene, whose cult is centered in Manila and Cagayan de Oro, is born in procession on January 9 after a novena in its honor. The date commemorates the image's 1787 translation solemn transfer from its original location in what is now Rizal Park to its present shrine in the Quiapo district of the city. Feast of the Santo Niño The latest date for the end of popular Christmas celebrations is the Feast of the Santo Niño Christ Child, on the third Sunday of January. The image depiction most associated with this day is the purportedly miraculous Santo Niño de Cebu, the first Christian icon brought to the islands. In 1521, Ferdinand Magellan came to Cebu and gave the image as a present to Humame, chief consort of the local monarch, Raja Humabon, when she, together with her husband and a number of his subjects, were baptized into the Catholic faith. Tradition holds that Humame, who received the Christian name Juana after Joan of Castile, danced for joy upon receiving the Santo Niño, providing a legendary origin for the fervent religious dancing during the Sinolig held in honor of the Christ Child. Celebrations are mostly focused in Cebu, where the Sinolig festival is held, while there are other celebrations held nationwide in its honor, including the ATI Atahan Festival in Aklan Province, the Danagayang in Ililio, the Cajamunan in Butuan, and the Feasts of the Holy Child in the districts of Tondo and Pandacan in Manila. The Feast of Our Lady of the Candles In older traditions, which are still kept in the liturgical calendar of the extraordinary form of the Mass, Christmas lasted until Candlemas, or the Feast of the Purification of Mary and the presentation of the baby Jesus at the Temple. This marked the end of a long 40-day Christmastide, corresponding to the 40 days of Lent. This date falls on February 2, after Mary had participated in a rite of purification in according to the ancient Candlemas festival rooted in Halakha, Jewish law. This is also when Simeon makes his well-known prophecy to Mary and Joseph about the Holy Child, of Jesus being a light for the Gentiles. Many parishes, if possible will still keep their nativity scenes displayed up until the celebration of the presentation of the Lord on February 2. This final salvo is marked by the Feast of Our Lady of the Candles in Jaro, Iloilo City, where the image is enshrined in the Jaro Cathedral, the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Candles, where Tridentine Masses are celebrated in commemoration. Similar celebrations are held nationwide in towns where Our Lady of the Candles is its patroness, including Candelaria, Quezon, whose town fiesta is celebrated on this date. Decorations Due to Americanization, decorations such as Santa Claus, Christmas trees, tinsel, faux evergreens, reindeer, and snow have become popular. Christmas lights are strung about in festoons, as the tale of the Star of Bethlehem in Belens, star shapes, Christmas trees, angels, and in a large variety of other ways, going as far as draping the whole outside of the house in lights. Despite these, the Philippines still retains its traditional decorations. Peril Every Christmas season, Filipino homes and buildings are adorned with star shaped lanterns, called peril from the Spanish farol, meaning lantern, or lamp. These lanterns represent the Star of Bethlehem that guided the Magi, also known as the Three Kings, Tagalog, Tatlong Hari. Peril are as beloved and iconic to Filipinos as Christmas trees are to Westerners. The most common form of the lantern is a five-pointed star with two tails at the lower two tips. Other popular variations are four, eight, and ten-pointed stars, while rarer ones sport six, seven, nine, and more than twelve points. The earliest perils were made from simple materials like bamboo, Japanese rice paper, known as papel de hapon, or crepe paper, and were lit by a candle or coconut oil lamp. Simple perils can be easily constructed with just ten bamboo sticks, paper, and glue. Present-day peril has endless possible shapes and forms and is made of a variety of materials, such as cellophane, plastic, rope, capiz shell, glass, and even recycled refuse. Peril making is a folk craft, and many Filipino children often craft them as a school project or for leisure. The Giant Lantern Festival is an annual festival held the Saturday before Christmas Eve in the San Fernando City, Pampanga. The festival features a competition of giant lanterns, and the popularity of the festival, has earned the city the moniker, 
Christmas capital of the Philippines Belen Another traditional Filipino Christmas symbol is the Belen, a creche or tableau depicting the birth of Christ. Derived from the Spanish name for Bethlehem, Belen, it depicts the infant Jesus in the manger, surrounded by the Virgin Mary, Street. Joseph, the shepherds, their flock, the magi and some stable animals, and is surmounted by an angel, the star or boat. Belen can be seen in homes, churches, schools and even office buildings. The ones on office buildings can be extravagant, using different materials for the figures and using Christmas lights, perils for the star, and painted background scenery. A notable outdoor Belen in Metro Manila is the one that used to be at the Cod Building in Cubao, Quezon City. In 2003, the Belen was transferred to the Green Hills Shopping Center in San Juan when the Cod Building closed down. This Belen is a lights and sounds presentation, the story being narrated over speakers set up and most probably using automatons to make the figures move up and down, or turn, etc. Each year, the company owning it changes the theme from the nativity story, with variations such as a fairground story, and Santa Claus's journey. Tarlac City, Tarlac is known as the Belen capital of the Philippines holds the annual Belenismo sa Tarlac. It is a Belen making contest which is participated by establishments and residents in Tarlac. Giant versions of the Belen with different themes are displayed in front of the establishments and roads of Tarlac for the entire season. Caroling in the Philippines, children in small groups go from house to house singing Christmas carols, which they call pangangaroling. Makeshift instruments include tambourines made with tanzans aluminum bottle caps strung on a piece of wire. With the traditional chant of Namamasko Po, these carolers wait expectantly for the homeowners to reward them with coins. Afterward, the carolers thank the generous homeowners by singing, Thank you, thank you, Angbabate Nino, you are so kind, thank you. An example of a traditional Filipino carol is a part of series known as Maligayang Pasco, which was commonly called as Sa Maybahe Ang Aming Badi. Aguinaldo This is a word heard repeatedly during the Christmas season in the Philippines. Presently, the term is interpreted as gift or money received from benefactors. Aguinaldo is a Spanish term for bonus. Its prevalent use may have originated from Filipino workers of the Spanish era, receiving extra pay from the generosity of the rich employers during the celebration of the Christmas season. Santa Claus The Christmas icon Santa Claus is known by various names in various countries. In the Philippines, he is called Santa Claus. His full and real name is Santa Arcama Claus. During an episode of the television show, Wow Wowin, on GMA Channel 7 on October 31, 2017, Willie Revillama, the host, briefly interviewed Santa and showed the TV audience his driver's license, which read, Santa R. K. McClaws. Of Irish and Filipino descent, he is also the founder and chief business development officer of Pacific Santas Inc., a company registered with the Department of Trade and Industry that has appeared at corporate events and carried out charity missions among poor Filipinos, especially children, in the Philippines every year since it was founded on February 6, 1964. According to a report in Manila Bulletin, Santa R. K. Claus was born in Zamboanga to a Filipino mestizo father and an Irish mother and began wearing the Santa suit at the age of 15. The report added that a visit to a leper colony in Cebu made him realize he could make a difference by being Santa. The same report says Santa has two master's degrees, in child psychology and business administration. I've dedicated my life to the image of the peaceful and loving ambassador who brings yuletide and peace to all in the spirit of birth of our Savior, Jesus, he was quoted as saying. The man doesn't pick the suit. The suit usually picks the man. Media and entertainment Television 
The first two Christmas dramas in Philippine television are Sana Nagaying Pasco, aired in 2009, and Jillian, Namamasko Po, aired in 2010, both originally produced by GMA Network. Both of them aired on the same channel. Music The popular OPM Christmas songs and carols are performed by the OPM artists and chorale groups. OPM Christmas carols and songs are also played on the radio airwaves most likely on FM every November and December. On November 11, 2014 an OPM Christmas charity song entitled, Sa Pagsapit ng Pasco, When Christmas Comes, was released under Ivory Music and Video. The song is dedicated to all Typhoon Haiyan victims performed by various indie and labeled Filipino artists. Annually during Christmas, the TV network ABS-CBN features Christmas station IDs appearing in the form of a music video, which was also adopted by TV5 and GMA. In recent years, ABS-CBN's Christmas songs like Put a Little Love in Your Heart, Tuloy na Tuloy Pa Rin Ang Pasco, Star Ng Pasco, Nagaying Pasco, Magnaningning Ang Pilipino, Da Best Ang Pasco Ng Pilipino. Lumalivanog Ang Mundo Sa Quento Ng Pasco. Magkasama Teo Sa Quento Ng Pasco. Thank you Ang Babate Nino. Thank you for the love. Icing Pamilia Teo Nagaying Pasco. And. Just Love Nagaying Christmas. Have gained popularity elsewhere have been praised by many Filipinos including children, gained a million views on YouTube, played in public places including parks, shopping malls and supermarkets, and received widespread critical acclaim. The popular OPM Christmas carols and songs are Annual Christmas Station ID songs by ABS-CBN Ang Pasco I Sumapit, traditional Boom Tarat Tarat Christmas Version by Willie Revillama Christmas Bonus by Aegis Christmas in Our Hearts by Jose Mari Chan Christmas Wish by Willie Revillama Da Best Ang Pasco Ng Pilipino by Maria Aragon Perfect Christmas by Jose Mari Chan Himig Ng Pasco by Apo Hiking Society Hi Dunia Gembarala, Ilocano Traditional. Just Love Ng Christmas by Abs CBN. Kampana Ng Simbahan by Leo Valdez. Christmas Mas 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 Masaya by Sharon Cuneta. Kumakudakuditap by Ryan Kayabyab. Magkasama Teo Sa Quento Ng Pasco. Mano Po Ninong, Mano Po Ninang. May Kataparan Ang Hiling Sa Kapamilyang Kapaling by Sarah Geronimo Miss Kita Kung Christmas by Sharon Cuneta Nikarang Pasco by Ku Ledesma Nagaying Pasco, Magnaningning Ang Pilipino by Tony Gonzaga and Gary Valenciano with the Ust Singers Noche Buena by Marco Sisson Pasco na naman, words by Levi Salerio and music by Felipe P. De Leon Pasco na naman by Ramon Jacinto Pasco na Sinta Co by Gary Valenciano Pasco sa Piñas by Yang Constantino Sa Ara ng Pasco by OPM Various Artists Sa Pagsapit ng Pasco by OPM Various Artists Sa Pasco by Daniel Magdira Sa Pascong Derating by Celeste Legaspi Sana Nagaying Pasco by Ariel Rivera Share the Love, Share the Joy It's Christmas Time by Julie Ann San Jose Silent Night na Naman by Ariel Rivera Sino C. Santa Claus, by Florante Star Ng Pasco by Abs CBN Thank you Ang Babate Nino by The Voice Kids Top 4 Thank you for the love by Abs CBN Icing Pamilia Teo Nagaying Pasco by Abs CBN 
Tuloy na Tuloy Pa Rin Ang Pasco by Apo Hiking Society Unang Pasco by Willie Revillama See also References External links Christmas in the Philippines History of Philippine Perils Traditional and Modern Philippine Perils <laughs>